Hello, and welcome back to Darkest Dungeon 2 on the Minimus channel. I just realized, I think I started the last three videos looking at Paracelsus, and what's wrong with that? But anyway, um, so I gave her good old Disorienting Blast, since it removes Barrison's dots, and I took away Ounce of Prevention, even though it would give Pineapples a dodge. Barrison's going to be taunting. Barrison's going to be getting dotted. Honestly, Pineapples will be too, but this doesn't remove the stuff for him. It does up his resistance, though. Actually, it does for everybody. But anyway, we haven't been using Battlefield Medicine too much, but I feel like the later in the game it gets, the more likely we will. And of course I'm keeping Magnetism Rain, mostly for the corpse clear. And that's my justification with that. What's this? Everybody's feeling good. Everybody has max health increase. We have a few positive relationships. And we have full scouting thanks to our trophy. So, Hero Shrine. Boudica still needs something. She needs her last thing. We could do it here and then never see another shrine in our lives again. This run. Um, this will follow up with this. Reduces loathing. Order. We don't have too much cash, but we could. Reduces loathing, gets loathing. This path... Oh, an ingress. Not a big fan of that. Two ingresses. We're definitely not going there, mostly because of the loathing, but also the ingresses would suck. We have to roll through the lair, but we can hop after the first or second battle. With the loathing city over here. Holy cow. All right. Um. Okay, so shrine. But what if we went... Okay, this doesn't go to the right. This just goes up and left. Hit the watchtower. Hit the study, hit the hospital to avoid the ingress. I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about that route specifically. Oh, then ingress early. If you guys want to end the video right now, that'd be fine. Paracelsus hates us and wants to go to the ingress. What's up with that? I'm just kidding. Uh, let's hit the shrine. Pineapple's again a team player. Actually, everybody's been a team player. This has been a pretty nice run. Being able to shoot people in the face with a comet for 30 damage, I think has sped up a few fights substantially. So, last video was a little shorter, but we did really well. But I'm scared of everything, game, so please don't throw the Shambler in my freaking face or something like that. Okay. Shambler, though, I don't know, maybe I'll be able to kill him. I could throw this whole run away and try to kill him. What do you think? Alright. The Great Emptiness. The Great Emptiness. Tell me about it. Alright, let's get your final abilities and be happy with them. Maybe. Alone I don't know what they are. She wandered the countryside. Fighting for sport okay. and soaking her wounds in wine. She sought death at every turn. Alright, so she's she's an MMA fighter. To prove her metal. But it seemed even that terrible wraith had forsaken her. Oh, don't say terrible wraith her around me, please. Absolute. Her shame barely concealed by a fragile facade of fearlessness. Ouchie. That's rough. That hurts the soul. Alright, you get two things? Okay, let's see what you get here. Adrenaline Rush. Requires self less than 33% HP. Heal for 20. Remove Winded. Gain on attack. Heal 20%. That's pretty good, but you gotta be low to do it. And Howling End. Back 1. Cooldown 3. That's a lot. 8 to 14. That's a pretty big damage number, though. 8 to 14. What's the, um... What's the upgraded version of that? More damage, lower cooldown, more crit. You still get winded. 10 to 18. That's that's not bad, honestly. And then you could toe-to-toe -to -toe back up if you wanted to... Well, there's a cooldown, but I guess you could, you know. But it still only hits one or two. You never hit... Yeah, you never hit rank three. Look at that. You never hit rank three, which is fine. But holy cow, what if that hit rank three? That'd be great. That'd be a great combo to throw in there. We could hack six to ten... This is obviously more, but then there's the cooldown. But then you have to go back up. I'm thinking about it. We did use the bleed effectively once, so I don't have to get rid of bleed out. What was your other thing? You heal yourself. Adrenaline rush. But you gotta be low. I'll consider them for the future. For sure. Once we have everybody's abilities all unlocked, which this team is now all unlocked, so that's great. Um, then we'll really be able to play around with some new abilities. I guess my whole sentence there was, once we have all the abilities, we'll be able to use the abilities. Which is a true sentence, so you're welcome for that. Alright, burning pile. Everybody hates each other already. Okay, we can't lose 15 freaking torchlight already, pineapples. Let's get it in check. Alright, who's got a... I think Paracelsus and pineapples have a better relationship each other than anybody yes so if they lose a bit hopefully nobody gets too upset but we'll see all right 
We got, oh boy. We got a big dude. We got a guy, and we got a fire lady, as I like to call him. So, we'll see about that. Immolatist. Alright. Could get one shot with the searing stars. So we'll see about that. Let's retribute. We're going to taunt. We're going to repost. Hopefully we save the team from taking some damage. Chaotic Offering is going to be a big one here. You have extra crit because you're stealth. Thanks to one of your trinkets. That's the good news. Boudica. Normally I'd have you Iron Swan and try to take this thing out. But I think Pineapples can one-shot this thing soon. And you can't hit third. So you might as well try to eat some of this uh, dodge off this guy. I suppose. And we hit him anyway. So that's great. Paracelsus. We have to do this so you attack the third. We didn't crit with a big crit percent. So what's up with that? Nice miss. Genius. Anyway. Alright. He got me there. A little bleed. No, nothing. Okay. Oh, a little immobilized. That's fine. Why are you punching my occultist? His name is Pineapples, for God's sake. Alright. He's on fire. Literally. Alright, little little crit here. Just kidding. Ten? Ten's fine. He's only got 57 HP. It's actually a high number of HP. Uh, hold the line. We could defend. You're dazed? That sucks. I think Paracelsus might have smelling salts, but she goes after you anyway, so she can't cure the daze, sadly. Defend him. We could have crushed the front unit instead, but that's alright. Alright, your turn, but it's not... Actually, you're gonna die to the... Blight, so that's good. So we don't have to worry about the back two units, because you're gonna die to the Blight, and the Occultist, known as Pineapples, will shoot a star through you for, well, about ten damage, honestly, at this point. Maybe we should just hit the big guy and do this again for the back two. Bravo. What are you taking? You're taking eight? You'll be dead. Okay, cool. Okay, so we're actually doing... A shooting star through the big guy. That's going to be a lot better. 22. That's pretty good. It's a little low on the damage, but I'm not going to complain. I'll just say it's low and then not elaborate. Alright, heal me up. He's on death's door. The cultist can take him off with a dagger. Stab. I was going to say throw, but that's not his ability. That's the graveyard robber's ability. Grave robber's ability. We haven't used her in a while, I think. And we've been doing pretty well, so you tell me the correlation. Alright, take all. It's pretty good. We got 12 and 8. I'd call that 20 in total. Somebody check my math on that. Alright. Uh, going forward. We're going forward. Alright, we're going to lose an armor. That's the bad news. I didn't even calculate if we're going to have enough stuff to not... Let's see. Wheel, wheel, armor. That's two down each. Alright, if we take my proposed route, we'll make it out of here with one wheel. Which I think is enough to power Stagecoach. Honestly. I'm not being facetious. Alright. Let's see if the Hoarder here can provide a bevy of supplies for us. Oh man, I hate Malign Madness so much, it's not even funny. Alright, medical equipment, that's pretty good. Directory, no thanks. Alright, we don't have too many baubles, but if we did, look at the cool stuff we could get. None of those are too great. Uh, do we want to replace any... Do we have any, like, gray trinkets that need to be blue? No. That was easy. Um, good relationship minus stress. I think it's pretty good. Something to ease the rigor Anything the we can... Ooh, rigor. we might need a little flame to help us out. A little heal wouldn't hurt either. We only have nine, so we can buy one of each. Or three flaming hopes. What's your base combat item at the moment? You're almost out of that. We might use this, because you, people are going to be burning in the sprawl. We're not going to use this, just period. We might use smelling salts. Should we give it to somebody faster? Yeah, five, six, seven is our speed. I don't know. I don't know. I haven't decided. Um, what was I saying? Let's grab three flame, just to keep it as one inventory stack. You know what I'm saying? Thanks, Hoarder. Bye. Um, and we'll drop that on my good friend, Pineapples. Combat item. Give him this. Honestly, get rid of this. Uh, smoke bot. Smoke bot might be helpful in the future. Once we use up somebody else's, uh, item, I think smoke bomb's gonna go hard. In a good way. Alright, we're gonna lose a wheel here, so we're gonna lose our extra 
travel healing, sadly. But somehow I'll get over it. Okay, did you guys say a good thing and then a bad thing to each other, like, immediately after? What's up with that? I don't know. Hey, we're gonna clear our loathing here, but then get loathing. So, you know, one minus one equals zero, I think. All right, we got a candle as well. That's interesting. All right. Oh, man. Barristan, are you... You've been a little thorn in our sides. Everybody's collective side since the beginning, and I want to know why. No offense. Your best relationship is with pineapples. So if we do this fight... Oh, no, you guys want to leave. So you want to fight... Ooh. I thought the two wanted to fight. Hold on. Okay. If we don't fight, we gain the loathing and don't minus it. It's just the truth. So we'd be at two. If we took my proposed route, we would gain one. Okay, we'd be at three loathing. I think... Because clearing the first layer area doesn't clear it. This says it doesn't clear, but I thought it did. And we get stressed if we left. The light I'm not too worried about because we picked up so many rays of hope. But honestly, we're not getting that high on on freaking light either. For pure relationship purposes, I think we have to choose this. And we'll repair the relationship in, in the future. Okay. An elementary problem. Wait, did we not get more loading? Not? Am I crazy? I don't know. Uh, watchtower, because if we go left, then we'll be stuck going to the ingress. And you know me, I love a good combat in this game. But I don't like ingress combat, because it's not good. Sorry, just the truth. Wait a minute. We killed the librarian, and the lair still exists? I know we've been back here. Can we fight him again? Not that I want to. But can we? I don't know. I never attempted such a daring feat before. Alright, Watchtower's gonna give our entire team speed for the rest of the uh, zone. So I think that's pretty cool. Anybody have any opinions here? No, it's both academic studies. Of course not. Alright, we're gonna head right so we can avoid the ingress. Sorry to sheepishly walk away. I'm okay with road battles. I'm not okay, or not just road battles. I'm okay with resistance encounters. Ingresses right now, not my kind of bag of tea. It's not my bag, baby. Sorry. Not my cup of tea. What did I say? Bag of tea? That's a good combo phrase. Um, okay, the study here hopefully doesn't force us into a Shambler encounter, because if it does, I wouldn't be surprised. I would just be disappointed. Okay, we get a trinket. You get plus, minus stress. Which we don't need. Let's go for a trinket. You guys are good friends. You got on guard and... Ooh, nervous is never good. 10% chance to stress. On guard's pretty okay, though. What the hell is this? Extra action or stunned. I mean, it's risk versus reward right there. Then again, if you have high stun resist, it's less risk. She's got 60%, but she's got two combo trinkets at the moment. Barrison's at 50. So there's a 50% chance he gets an extra action and about a 25% chance he gets stunned. And if he gets stunned, we lose our tank. I'll hold on to it. I'm thinking for the sprawl, we don't need that trinket. Either way, you know what I'm saying? But if we make it to the mountain, which is not guaranteed, and I'm not expecting a game, please don't kill me. Um, if we make it to the mountain, maybe Barristan could use the trinket. That way, if he goes crazy good, he'll be crushing whatever we fight left and right. Assuming it's in position 1, 2, or 3. I don't know. And then, and if he's not going crazy good, he just gets stunned and we die anyway. And I wouldn't be surprised. Oh, crap. Oh, an antiquarian. I hate antiquarians. I think we all agree. That I hate antiquarians. I think everybody could agree that we all should hate them. Holy crap. Here's the good news though. We have some okay and amazing damage. I don't know why I said it was just okay. Let's retribute. The antiquarian, if you don't know, she buffs all these units. She makes them guard her. She's a true pain in everybody's side. And she went in position three, our weakest position. Did she do that on purpose? What a witch. This would clear your stress, but let's see if you get hit first. Let's hold on to this. Hopefully you don't die in the next turn. That would be bad. Alright, 
Iron Swan would break this. You're being guarded by who? We can't tell, because we can't hit position 3. I, th I think it's this guy, though, because he's got the armor. Iron Swan would break that. It's true. But I think killing somebody ASAP would be best. And this guy has only 19 health. So a crit here would go pretty good. So we didn't get one, and that's okay. Alright, we can't carry your daze. You already got dazed. This would hit the Antiquarian, because it's a combo hit. And it would burn off the armor. So I think this is a good ability to use. Has the hit for three, crit for one. Oh, armor, of course. Anyway, good dodge there. That would have hit for like 17. So I'm really happy to see that dodge. Okay, this guy's practically dead. Which isn't the same as dead. Unfortunately. Okay, drop the light up. Explain that sentence. Uh, chaotic offering, or we could artillery, and it does hit both because it's a. Sh She's got 41 health. The hell? This will just 48 damage. It's not a lot. 4 to 8, definitely not a lot of damage. You're blind? Oh, we gotta get that off you, man. Oh, man. If you miss the Searing Stars, that's so messed up. It's not even funny. Okay, more light is good for this team. This would burn a guarded token, because it hits you. And we're blind anyway, so we just might miss. And we did. That kind of sucks. But we had to burn off that token one way or another. We had to take the chance. I may be saying the same thing later with that stun trinket. We had to take the chance. Meanwhile, Barris is stunned every turn. Probably. Alright, she's still sitting in three. You guarded with this guy. We're going to be able to take this guy out with the burn, if we do that, while hurting everybody. Because this guy... Crack shot doesn't go till after Paracelsus, so that's fine. So I'm not worried about that. So do we swan the back? Or hurt the guy with the super armor? Actually, you're hurt a bit, so take this. You got full use of the water. So I'm a big fan of that. Iron Swan here seems like... A choice. I don't know if it's the best choice. We did combo that unit. Something good could come from that. I'm not sure. Paracelsus is stealth. That's the good news. You're taunting. You can heal a fire. And him for three. That's good. Bolster doesn't do too much. Retribution's not going to do a ton. Let's burn off the guard. I, I know it wasn't going to be a lot of damage, but... That's the end of the sentence. Nobody's... Uh, Stop getting weak. Stop getting stuff, man. Anyway, 10% burn resist. If this thing resists the burn, I'm going to be surprised. Okay, they got burned. That's the good news. Okay, that was fantastic. That's good. That's great. All right, you're festering our vapors. That's not good. Now we're all blighted and stuff. That's not cool. I'll take an ingress over an antiquarian bar battle. I'll just be honest. If I knew this was the other option, I wouldn't have came this way. I'll just be honest. Antiquarians. Gotta hate them. Oh, boy. Alright, festering. Nice critical. Uh, funny. Alright. Absolute jerk. Nobody's burning? Oh. No. How many dodges? How many guard... Jesus. Alright, we gotta retribute. That'll burn off some guard tokens. Eventually... Paracelsus can't use smelling salts effectively, and that's fine. Play grenade, though, is good because it deals damage. Uh, you're going to be dead in back, so don't care about you anymore. We'll hit you. 13, pretty good hit, pretty good hit. You're dead to dots. No complaints there. A little torchlight. Never hurt anybody. We can't offer. We can't stars. We could do this. That would hit you and you, and you're both dead to dots. That doesn't matter. So we can stab you, but that hurts... Nothing we do matters with this turn, really. I guess getting a death blow could mean we do another ability, because Pineapples has that trinket, but we didn't get it. And now she's left alone, as per usual. This lady, and she's in third position. We gotta get Paracelsus up here. We gotta burn these bodies. Remove, remove, stress. This isn't gonna do anything for anybody, because nobody's over five stress. So I'm not worried about that. Toe-to-toe -to -toe locks is in position. Let's try it out. I don't know. 
Okay, you didn't get stressed from the corpse hit. That's the good news. Burning stars. If you dodge this, I'll cry. I'm crying. Alright. If you dodge this, I'm not going to be surprised. I'm not surprised. <laughs> Holy crap. Alright. Get rid of the corpses. And it burned the, her too. That's great. That's we got taunting up here. Nobody's going to be hurt too badly except her. Oh, she's got a super dodge. In case you're curious, she's got a super dodge. Holy crap. Now she's got a regular dodge. Just in case you're curious, she's got a regular dodge too. Alright. we got to do some work on the health front. As much as I want to kill her as soon as possible. A 10 heal there is incredible. Even with the bleed. And we didn't get the bleed. So that's incredible. Even further. Okay. Death's door. Fire could take her out. Barristan could take her out. Nobody really knows. Line, you're not marked. I'd love to get a heal in with Paracelsus first, but obviously this could spiral out of control. 25%? That's like 100% in some countries. So let's just make her dodge instead. Jesus. All right. Um, 16, 6, 6, minus 4. That would take you off the store. That wouldn't. 7. You got uh, 5 on this one. You know, sometimes you gotta take care of yourself. And I've always said that. And when you're Paracelsus, sometimes you gotta take care of some other people too. And I've always said that. Alright. And when you're Boudica, sometimes you gotta kill the enemy. And there we go. Hate the Antiquarian. She is a, a true witch. I don't know what that means. Cultist Trinket? Oh boy. Let's see what any of this crap does. Oh boy. Is it, does it fit our playstyle? Is it a, oh my god, we got so many trinkets. Is it a good occultist trinket? Turn in. Convert weakness to fists. Apply on hit. Demon's pull adds one negative token. Gain when moved by enemy. One third chance of negative token. We don't have demon's pull right now on our occultist. Oh yeah, what do you need? Take some laudanum. Team's gonna need it. I didn't know we had four laudanum in, in reserve. That's great news. Take a smoke bomb. Maybe you save somebody from being killed. Take two of these instead of one. I don't know. What's your trinket set? Apply on hit. Vulnerability. I don't think I've ever seen that proc. Maybe once, as soon as we equip that trinket. Otherwise, I don't remember seeing it. What's this say? If baubles inventory over 25, 65, remove one negative to token. And you give yourself negative tokens with Chaotic Offering. So that's actually great if we remove that. It's kind of good for Barristan too, but whatever. Oh boy. Um, and then this one, instead of extra action. Are you first in turn order? You're 8, 7. How are you 6 speed, but you went first last turn against the Antiquarian. I don't know. I don't know how numbers work. I'll just be honest. We don't have Demon's Pull. I don't intend to use it. So I think we're not going to use that trinket. Even though vulnerability to fists is good, but then we're removing vulnerability with this, potentially. So that's kind of a... kind of talking in circles at the moment. Either way, I don't think we're going to use this or this. So let's save some space. Let's go. We're going to the hospital. We're visiting. We're just visiting. It's two dollars to park, which I think is a little crazy to me, but that's fine. Uh, they gotta make money somehow. I know there's no other way hospitals make money besides the parking garage attendant. She understands the futility of her work. All right, what do we have? We have 24. Do we want to cure? Oh my god, you have so much stuff. I don't like nervousness. I don't like flawed release. Turns out I don't like the negative quirks. Who would have guessed? This one's fine actually. I love it. Uh, what, do you, what else do you have for sale on this silly little boat we call a hospital? Okay, 20. An in for... Minus stress. It's not bad. Some more laudanum. Oh, some more healing. Mm, I don't know. Okay, so if we spent 16, we'd have 8. We could buy one, 2 laudanum or 1 salve. If we spent 16 on a negative quirk removal. When somebody dies, this guy's going to melt down. That's going to be bad for the whole team. Chances are he dies first, though, so I don't really care. Um, I do care. I just have to act like I don't. Nervousness is never fun, but you have no stress at the moment. You won't drink. That's actually really bad for our whiskey that we don't have. So I guess it's fine. Um, yeah, I think some better, heal or better combat items, including the healing 
is going to be good. That's all our money, but it's going to be really good. Non-conditional healing. Oh, it's next to two. I knew that. I had no idea. Let's get out of here. Thanks for the salve. We'll be on our way. Paracelsus, if you can grab the 10% uh, healing thing every once in a while before we get to the lair, which I don't even know if it'll proc once. That'd be pretty cool. Okay, there it goes. I think it was that. I'm not even sure. But yeah. Oh, good relationship there. Road healing for everybody. Fantastic. Fantastic news. Alright. Great library, as I like to say. I don't like to say that. It's a library. There's another R in there. It's a little trick. Holy crap. The library burns. Okay. And with it, the remains of philosophy, reason, and insight. Critical for five, not too shabby, considering the alternative. We are going to retribute here because these little ghouls, whatever they're called, lost cause, lost echo, something. The, the fire guy I'm not worried about. He's even in position three. I'm not worried about it. It's our weakest position, some would say. I'm not even worried about it because I know we're going to kill him ASAP. He's dead. He killed himself in one turn. That's embarrassing. I'll just say it out loud. All right. Also, we're blighted and hurt. That's also embarrassing. Please stop hurting me. The good news is they walked in front of this guy, so he's back even further. I think an offering here would be a little egregious, so I'm not going to do it. Let's burn off the armor. He's got 12 health. Oh, yeah, I forgot that removed him. Uh, but he's going to be dead from the blight before he gets in front. So I'm not worried about him any longer. He's out of my mind. Now it's time to stab. Because we can. This will hit for your entire health. Just kidding. Oh boy. I thought it was funny at the time, but now it's not funny at all. Alright. Boudicca. One shot. Nope. It's fine. Uh, let's see here. You have a turn. We could kill either of these. Barristan could also kill either of them. This deals more damage to the front unit. Barristan could crush the back guy, and then the whole team's dead. The whole enemy team, that is. Or at least I hope so. Okay. Do we get a turn, or does he go first? Oh, we do get some turns. Okay. I will click this. It does nothing, I think. Yeah, it wins you. That's good. This will heal the... Oh, nobody needs healing. This will... Why did I want another turn? I don't know. Just die. Alright. Not a bad one. For sanctity's sake, we, we have to leave. We have to get to the mountain. It must occur. Cowardice. A crude term for the science of self-preservation. Exactly. It was self-preservation. There's zero cowardice involved. I knew we could have killed the whole library again. We did it before, for God's sake. And now all our abilities were upgraded, frankly. So, they're lucky. I wanted to leave. I'll just be honest. Inventory's full. We're not picking up a blade of powders. Somehow, I'll be alright with that. You must give hope to get it. We have 83 flame. It's not sputtering, Wayne June. Can you chill the heck out, dude? Serious right now? Are we going to get another loathing here? My calculations were off. We're going to be at two loathing? I don't know. Or maybe... We're, oh, yeah, we have the candle to resist it on our coach. So maybe we resisted it. That's the good news. Hey, that's great. Can we get some friendship? Okay, everybody wants friendship. Of course, Barrison isn't in on it, because everybody hates that son of a gun. I'll be honest. So do I. A wheel saves us six baubles. How much food do we have? We have two food. We have more than two. We have a lot of food. Get rid of this crap. We have plenty of food, so we don't need food. No offense, Paracelsus. In items. What do they give us for in items if it's not food? Probably a stress paper. I'll take the wheel and call it a day. Alright, good relationships for everybody there. Big fan of that. We have one Oblivion's Rampart to go. Is this going to have the exemplar? Oh, crap. I forgot about that, dude. Oh, well. We can take it. We're all full health. We're all real low stress. We're zero. So I don't see any way we die in this battle, he said with a smile on his face. And then died in the battle. Right? Right? Okay. Yeah, there he is. And an altar, of course. Because you got to heal that thing. Alright, we got to take the altar out first, of course. Luckily, it's in our best position. Position four. I'm not even kidding. All right, blind that son of a gun real quick. He resisted it. That's good news. Mechanical offering. Dodges with Paracelsus. Retribution to hopefully absorb some hit from this monstrosity. 
Alright, and we start plaguing them both. Critical 7. I don't think I've ever seen that on a Paracelsus deck. Critical 7. I've seen Critical 6 plenty. Critical 7 is rare and amazing. Alright, Iron Swan here gets blocked, but we still deal a fair amount of damage. 7 is pretty good. I gotta say it. Alright, what are you doing? It's preluding an attack. I remember that. You do a prelude, then you do the, the showstopper. The fall. Honestly, for 8, that's not bad. They look like his own Abyssal Artillery, which I'm kind of upset with. With, but what are you gonna do? Okay, we can't Iron Swan for obvious reasons, unfortunately. Looking a little sad there, my man. Take that. A little wicked hack. You're taunting anyway, so even if we had Iron Swan in position one, it wouldn't matter. 15, I'm okay with that. That's 15% of his health, basically. Bone Weaving, I hate that. What do you have? You have seven. So you need another attack, but Paracelsus can handle that easily. Let's blind this unit, guaranteed. He resisted it. And Burning Stars for 31? 24 is not bad either. I'd say that's about 24% of his health. Barrison here is going to heal off of the combo. For 8. It's incredible. Kill the small unit behind with the extra blight. That's the good news. And you're going to be going down, sir. You got 40 HP. Well, it seems nobody wanted that altar alive, not even his best friend. So, that's embarrassing. Alright. Oh my god. Did he do that last... He didn't do that last time. He summons things? I could take you out right now, pal. This deals 40 damage. I'll see you in heck. Or that could take you out right now, pal. This deals 40 damage. I'll see you in heck. Actually, you're going to repost. That's not good. Why is this... He didn't summon something last time, right? Or did he? Well, you're blinded. That's good. What do you have? 26. Even if you get reposted, which you will. What did it deal? I don't even know. 9 damage? That's actually a lot. I don't like that. Don't use that. Uh, well, we can't use Iron Swan because we're not in front again. But we can hit you, but you get reposted. But you're full health. You can take it. And you dodged it anyway, so I'm not even worried. Did you? Oh, you got healed more than you got blighted. That sucks. Now you're off death's door. That's a big stinker rooney. And now we gotta deal with the televangelist no matter what, I assume. Heal yourself. Probably should have used that on pineapples. Do a retribution so nobody else gets hit, I hope. And you're not even gonna go down because you have a heal over time. Which I'm kind of upset exists. But you are weakened. And they're on Death's Door once again. You keep attacking my pineapples for some reason. I'm not sure why. Alright, 50%. we got to deal as much damage as we can to this thing. Because 50% is practically 100% uh, Death's Door resist. Or at least it was that time. Alright, a stars. For the big damage, we gotta eat through this guy's HP. 28's pretty good. Paracelsus, great team friend. I'll heal this man a bit. He needed it, I think. It wasn't even that much. I don't know why I did that. Um, let's see here. Kill him. Oh my gosh. Alright, Retribute for three. That was a great miss, considering that was a guaranteed crit. I'm really happy. Why are you... Okay. Well, at least he kills things while he summons them. But also, don't summon anything. We need to kill you. And you're off death's door again. You've got a bigger heal. Well, the good news is now everybody focuses you. Even you focus you. Yeah, the repost sucks. Uh, just kill him. There we go. Okay. A little... It was a little staggering to see the summon. I was incredibly upset at the time. But now I'm fine with it. Mostly because it didn't negatively impact us. Well, it did, but not so negatively that we died. Alright, and what do we grab? A few new trinkets. More HP, less damage. Instead of fire resist. I think more HP would go well, because again, you don't... Did I do something wrong? If stained item... Oh, did I click the wrong item? Hold on. Eh, take the blight resist, I don't care. Um, oh, I think I tried to switch out the wrong one. My bad. Okay. And what do you want? 
You want a combat item? Take the heal. We might just need it. Barrison didn't need that heal, so I wasted his item. That sucks. Oh well. And then what's our other trinkets? Oh yeah, now we have the crit one out of... If not stealth, plus 50% damage. This is just crazy. You see pineapples, he'd be dead. He takes so much damage. We gotta get rid of these. We gotta get rid of these. Get rid of that. Let's go. Alright, we're gonna make it to the inn. That means we're gonna make it to the mountain. We still could not see the boss next area, though, because there's the... I assume there's an ingress or whatever in the way, right? Maybe two. Maybe three. Maybe ten. I don't know. This is the furthest I've ever made in Chapter 3, and I'm personally excited, as you can tell by the sound of my voice. Alright. Let's see what quirks we get. Oh, there's there's four of them. You know it's all going to be good. Bad, 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 bad. Can't say I'm surprised. Boudica, chance to get blinded immediately. That sucks. Barristan, if I'm fire, less crit. That sucks. That's fine. Uh, disgusted by viscera and bodily fluids. Same here. Alright, well I think that'll do it. We made it there. We're gonna head to the mountain next video. And I think you should check it out and see how we go against the next boss. I heard it sucks majorly, and I have no idea what it is. Besides a hand or an eye based thing, based on the icons in the altar of memories. But that'll do it for this one. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Leave a dislike if you hated it. Subscribe if you want to see more videos from me on this channel. I post them pretty much every day. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. See you next time. And goodbye.